Okay, here we go. Active and passive form, the last the last uh, grammar lesson included. Uh, active form, when we say active sentence, it means a normal sentence that starts with a subject, verb, and then object. He plays football, he played football. The difference between these two sentences is that one of the sentences is in the present tense and one of the sentences is in the past tense. So we need to know how to form this active sentence and this active sentence into passive. So our job is to take the active sentence and to make it passive. But there is a like a small difference or short difference between active sentence in the present and active sentence in the past when we do them as passive. So Subject, verb, object. A normal sentence is the active form. How to form the passive? Okay. Uh, before we go to the passive, uh, the present simple, if you remember, the normal sentence of the present simple says, he, she, at, in all the singular subjects, take s with a verb. I, we, they, you, there is no s with a verb. So if we say he sleeps, we say we sleep. So, he sleeps with S, but we with no S. In the negative form, he, she, et, in all the singular subjects, take doesn't. Like, he sleeps, we say, he doesn't sleep. We sleep, we say, we don't sleep. Okay, for the singular, we add doesn't. For the plural, we add don't. If we add doesn't for the singular, we cross the S from the verb because the S went with doesn't. So, he sleeps. He, singular, with S with a verb. Okay? When I form it as negative, I say he doesn't sleep. I don't say he doesn't sleeps. I cross the S because the S went with doesn't. But you sleep. There is no S. You don't sleep. Okay, now the questions, uh, if you have singular, you say does, you start the question with does, like he sleeps, does he sleep, but when you have plural, you say do, you sleep, do you sleep, so singular always s and doesn't and does, plural always no s and don't and do, this is for the present simple. Okay, now the past simple, what does it say? The past simple, it says add ed to the verb if it is regular. If the verb is irregular, it totally changes. Like work, it is worked. But teach, I can't say teach, teached. No, teach, taught. Buy, bought. Play, played and so on. So some verbs are regular with ed, some verbs are irregular, they totally change in the past tense. When you have negative form in the past tense, I worked, you say I didn't work. So we always add didn't with the negative. With the question, you start the question with it. I worked, I didn't work, did I work? So with the present simple, doesn't and don't, does and do. With the past, didn't and did. Okay? But you need to pay attention. When you add didn't with the negative, you cross the ed from the verb. You worked with ed. You didn't work. No ed here. What is the ed? What is the past? Didn't to get. Okay? Okay. So, let's go back. The active sentence says he plays football. He plays football is active because subject, verb, object, okay? If I want to form it into passive, I take the object and I put it at the beginning of the sentence. I say football. And then, if the verb is in the present, we add is or am or are. And that, after that, we add the verb in the past participle. So, football, singular. So, we add is. Football is. The past participle of play is played. Football is played. And then you add the subject, but before the subject you add by. So football is played by him. Okay? If your sentence is in the past, he played football. The same. You take the object, you put it at the beginning. So football. 
Instead of saying is or are, you need to say was or were because this verb is in the past. So football was played by him. This is what in the past tense. So if your active sentence has a present simple or a present verb, you add is or are. If your verb in the active is past, you add was or were. Okay? Okay, that's it for the active or for the active and passive. Um, no more to tell you about. Uh, let me just uh, show you the questions in the book regarding active and passive. They are not actually in the book. They are in the booklet, booklet number three, pages seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now active sentence in the simple present, the present. She writes a story. What you need to do is... Take the object and put it at the beginning. A story. Okay? So the first step, take the object from the end of the sentence, put it as a subject, put it at the beginning. Look at the verb. The verb is right. Right is in the present. It is not in the past. If it is in the present, you need to add is or are. A story. Story is only one, singular. So we don't say a story or, we say a story is. Then look at the verb. The verb write, what is the past participle of write? Write, wrote, written. So, written. A story is written by, by who? By her. So, a story is written by her. Remember, if you start your sentence with a pronoun, this is subject pronoun. When I put it at the end, I have to form it into object pronoun. I can't say a story is written by she. No, a story is written by her. She will be what? Her. Why? Because the object pronoun comes after the verb and the subject pronoun comes before the verb. Here is the verb before the verb subject pronoun, so she. Here is the verb after the verb object pronoun, so her. So a story is written by her. Okay? This is the present simple. The past simple, if you have past, like he wrote a letter, the same. Take the object, put it at the beginning. What is the object? A letter. Instead of is or are, you need to add was or were, because this is past. A story, a letter. Was or a letter were, a letter was. A letter was, the past participle of write, write, wrote, written. So, a letter was written by the object pronoun of he is what? Him. So, a letter was written by him. Uh, we did the page from before, we did it together, if you remember, and I added these as a homework for you. Like, Sam repaired the car, okay? Take the object, what is the object? The car. The car. Repaired, it is in the past. So the car was repaired by who? By Sam. The salesman helped the customer when the thief came into the store. Okay. The salesman helped the customer. So the subject is the customer. The customer. The verb is in the past. So the customer was or the customer were. The customer was. The customer was what? Helped by the salesman. And then complete the sentence. When the thief came into the store okay and that's it so that's all for the active and passive form and the pages for the active and passive form are booklet number three pages seven eight nine that's all regarding the revision we revised conjunctions we revised punctual quotation marks and active and passive form now when we finish the class i will upload all the pages included on Edmodo, they will all be solved and ready for you to study. And I will also upload a revision worksheet. This revision worksheet includes everything included in your final exam. So please do it and show it to me. I will also upload the answer key for the revision worksheet so you can check your answers. 
Um, good luck for you. Study well. If you have any question, I am available through the weekend on Edmodo. So you send me a message, I'll answer directly. And I'm really apologizing for anyone who sends me and I just become late in replying to him or her. That's because I am busy with your assignments. But since I see your message, I'll answer it directly. Good luck for you all. Study well and have a nice day.